For NJ Vance Media, I am Connor Hughes. Well, the Jets dropped a devastating one to the Miami Dolphins on Sunday. 31 to 28, the final score. A fourth quarter from hell for the Jets. They, they had tw negative 22 yards of offense, 17 unanswered points by the Dolphins, a Josh McCown interception with seconds remaining set up a 39-yard game-winning kick by Cody Parkey to put the final touches on this one. So, you know, when you're looking at this game and you're looking at everything that happened, it's easy to see issues here, there, and everywhere. The big one that I see on defense, and no, it's not the sack, the still sackless production from Muhammad Wilkerson and Leonard Williams. It's the play of cornerback Buster Screen. You know, Screen was the Jets' one of the Jets' big-name free agent acquisitions back in 2015. In fact, he was the first free agent signed by, Mac, by Mike McCagnan after he was named general manager. When you look at Screen's production here in New York, though, since he joined the Jets, it's been between bad and really bad, and it was probably never worse than what it's been against the Dolphins. On Miami's four touchdowns, the 28 points they scored before that game-winning field goal, Screen played a part in every one of them. He allowed a long completion to Kenny Stills on the first, which set up that touchdown. On the second, he was called for a defensive pass interference. On the third, he was called for a defensive holding and then gave up a touchdown. On the fourth, him and Darren Lee got involved in a miscommunication near the goal line, which resulted in another touchdown. The Jets have gotten themselves to a point right now where they need to change how they're using Buster Screen. He's a unique player, he's an interesting player because he has a certain skill set. I'm just not sure that skill set is being used in man-to-man -man coverage, be that outside or in the slot. Screen's a very good blitzer. He's shown that ability. Maybe the Jets use him more in that. Maybe they give him help. Maybe they only use him in the slot instead of moving him outside. Maybe they shadow him to an opponent's number three or number four receiver. I think that's where you're getting to with Buster Screen right now because he is struggling immensely for the Jets and he's starting to have on-field impact on games. Against the Patriots last week, he dropped an interception. That interception ignited the 24 unanswered points scored by the Patriots. Here against the Dolphins, again, 28 points scored by Miami were a direct result of Buster Screen's play. That's not getting it done. And if the Jets want to rectify this season and they want to turn it around and they still want to end up winning games and maybe make it in a, a push for the playoffs, which although I think is probably unlikely, is still technically possible right now, they're going to have to change how they're playing on defense. And part of that has to do with how they're using Buster Screen. For NJ Vance Media, I'm Connor Hughes.